welcome parents, teachers, and students to our concert, um, Follow the Drinking Board. We are so very fortunate to live in a country where everyone, no matter what color their skin or what they believe, can live freely as they want. But our country was not always like that. Our chorus will take you on a musical journey back in time to the 1800s when slavery was still legal in our country. Today's performance is in honor of the famous female hero Harriet Tubman and all the people she helped lead lead to freedom in the underground world.
Harriet Tubman, who risked their lives to lead the runaway slaves to freedom. They were car conductors because they were driving the freedom train. Harriet was the most famous conductor of the Underground Railroad. Another famous conductor was an old one-legged sailor called Peg Leg Joe. He, could, he would travel around from one plantation to another, teaching the slaves a special song called Follow the Drinking Board. The slave masters didn't know it, but hidden in the lyrics of this special song were secret directions on how to follow the underground railroad to speak. Follow the drinking gourd with code for following the Big Dipper in the sky, which points to the North Star. The way to the freedom was to travel north. When the sun comes back and the first storm comes, cause meant to travel in the spring when the weather was best for traveling. If the slaves left in the winter, they would freeze to death. Verses about the river told the slaves how to follow the route of the railroad through Alabama and the Mississippi into Tennessee and Kentucky and then up to it to Ohio. Each verse that Pegleg would teach the slaves was like adding to a treasure map to freedom.
traveling along the Underground Railroad at night, hiding, hiding out by day, moving slowly north along hundreds of miles of connecting rivers, the runaway slaves endured many hard times. State catchers hunted them down with dogs. Many slaves who were caught trying to escape were killed. Even after crossing into the free states where owning a slave was against the law, slaves could still be captured and returned to their masters for a reward. Many people compared the difficult journey of slaves in America to the hardships the Hebrews endured when trying to escape slavery in Egypt. Many slaves were very religious and believed that one day they would be delivered into freedom. They called the free states the promised land and nicknamed Harriet Tubman Grandma Moses because just like Moses in the Bible stories, Harriet delivered her people to freedom.
Harriet continued to fight for the end of slavery. She worked for the Union Army as a cook and nurse. She also became an Army Scout and spy, and was the first woman to lead an army. Armed expectation in the war to free slaves. After the war, Harriet lived on a small piece of land in New York where she took care of her friends and family. She was buried with the military honors of Fort Hill Cemetery in urban New York City, New York, in 1913. Since Harriet's death, many schools, libraries, and churches have been named after in her honor. To celebrate the courageous and wondrous woman that she was, it is, hope, it is our hope that after hearing Harriet's story today, that you will take a moment to remember her good deeds and try to be a little more like her. Thank you for being such a great audience. Now go and shine your light. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. Thank you.